Hey, what's up guys? I got three stocks for you today. All three incredible deals. All three of them are industrial stocks. As I'm going through and kind of discussing them today, try to pick out the stock that you think is the best buy. At the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you my own investment thesis and what I'm doing with each of these stocks. All right, let's jump into it. Hey guys, so current market conditions, um, you know, stocks aren't looking particularly cheap right now, but pockets of value do exist. So the first stock that I'm bringing to you today is Delta Airlines, which is an excellent opportunity in airline stocks. Let's first of all talk about their valuation. Delta is attractive whether you consert, uh, consider its price to earnings or PE ratio, or its enterprise value to EBITDA ratio. The company has adjusted net debt of $19.2 billion. And historically, guys, you gotta understand that airline stocks are cyclical. They, we often see low valuations before cyclical downturns. So talking a little bit more about that, it, it, cyclical, the cyclical nature of the industry, we've got high earnings, low valuations, often signaling potential downturns due to declining demand and ticket pricing power. See. Airlines typically maintain their less profitable routes, contributing to market concerns. But there's been some recent developments with Delta. Market panic in the summer led to a sell-off due to concerns over overcapacity and flight delays. Both Delta and United Airlines have since responded by cutting excess capacity, focusing on improving revenue per available seat mile. That's actually a key industry metric metric, revenue per available seat mile, it's abbreviated RASM. And these measures create an excellent buying opportunity as the market may be over discounting Delta Airlines stock. All right, so that's your first stock today, Delta Airlines. Let's look at number two, and that is Trimble, which is positioned for some long-term growth. Let's talk about their core business. Originally, they were focused on positioning hardware or software used in construction geospatial mapping, agriculture, transportation projects. But now they're transitioning towards helping customers optimize their daily workflows using digital data from its technology. I think there's a lot of potential for growth here. Real-time route optimization for transportation fleets, daily modeling for construction projects are just two examples of its growth potential. Subscription, recurring software revenue, or their annualized recurring revenue, or ARR, is growing at a low teens rate, despite organic revenue growth of five to 7% this year. So what does the future look like for Trimble? Analysts are expecting Trimble's free cash flow, or FCF, to grow from $505 million in 2024 to $845 million by 2026. 17 times FCF in 2026, Trimble presents a value investment opportunity for a company growing its ARR at a steady rate. All right, so I gave you a flight, I gave you an airline, Delta. I gave you a technology company, Trimble, data technology. Let's look at number three, and that is Owens Corning, which is a strong play for a housing recovery. Owings Corning is a major supplier of roofing, insulation, composites, and now doors following the acquisition of Masonite. The company is well positioned, guys, to benefit from a lower interest rate environment and a housing market recovery. They acquired Masonite for $3.9 billion, expanding its exposure to the North American residential market. This acquisition increases Owen Coring's uh, addressable market. It offers potential synergies of $125 million from sourcing, supply chain, shared expenses. And this is where they're aligning with the market. Roofing, insulation, and doors products are often sold to the same builders, to the same distributors, making the acquisition strategically complementary. If the housing market is nearing the bottom of its cycle, and I hope that it is, this acquisition could further enhance Owen Corning's growth. And just a word about their if, a word about their valuation. Analysts pro project earnings per share of $15.40 in 2024, 
$16.41 in 2025. So you've got a price to earnings PE ratio of 11.3 for 2024, 10.6 for 2025. Owens Corning offers a compelling value opportunity for long-term investors. Okay guys, so three stocks. Delta Airlines, which is offering a solid buying opportunity due to market over discounting. Tremble, which is positioned for future growth with a strong recurring revenue model. And Owens Corning, which is well positioned for a housing market recovery enhanced by a strategic acquisition. So there you go guys, three stocks. Now, what am I doing with any with these three stocks? Honestly guys, I haven't bought in on any of these stocks yet. All three of them look like great purchases, great value buys. I haven't bought in on any of them. If you wanna know what stocks I'm buying, though, subscribe to the channel, guys, because I make a video every week telling y'all about the stock that I bought that week. I buy one stock every week, make a video letting y'all know, and then I make all these other videos just to show you everything I'm reading, researching. A lot of times, I'm covering stocks that I own. A lot of times, I'm talking about stocks that are on my radar that I really like but that I haven't bought yet. And sometimes I'm talking about stocks that maybe fit your portfolio better than they fit my portfolio. Anyway, if you bought any three of these stocks today, I would consider that a good purchase though because all of them great values and I think they're all positioned for future growth or future, I think that they can spring back. The ones that are down, I think they'll spring back. But anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comments, which one is the best buying opportunity. And guys, I appreciate y'all. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Take it easy, peace.